everybody thank you so much for joining me on eric's autism world channel and i'm eric tallman this evening thank you so much for tuning in um i haven't been doing a blog for uh for a while i can't really remember when uh there's just been a lot of things happening let's say there are events or whatever it may be um we'll just say that uh i've been quite busy and i haven't been able to do any vlogs but i'm working on that very very hard and all that good stuff um, so um, just to make it short um, just to let everybody know that there will be um, specifically uh, either site uh, websites or specific areas or out in the public that I will not be filming just because um, I might film it but I will not it will not be shown on certain sites, but they are appropriate, but um, I'm only doing that um, just to respect privacy of others. So just to let you know that I am going to be making changes to the videos, but not all of them, okay? Um, the uh, blogs that I do every Tuesday... Those are very exciting and they're fun. Um, and those are my bowling um, blogs. Those are on Tuesday. I am working on a schedule today. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about it really, really hard. So you guys know that. Um, but for right now, there will be blogs on Tuesdays right now and probably either Saturday or Sunday. And today is actually Friday, and I said that I was going to do blogs on the weekend. But there's been a change of plan. We're going to go ahead and do it today, and then there'll probably be one again uh, probably this weekend on Saturday um, in the afternoon or in the evening. I have an event that I got to go to, an autism event that I got to go to in the morning. Um, I'll tell you all about that event um, and what I'll be doing, but the thing is I will not be doing any blogging at this event just because um, it's not, uh, we'll just say that the event is going to be at a theater. Okay, this event is going to be at the theater, so you guys know, um, and it's an event that I have to attend to, and it's in the morning. Um, the only reason why I'm not going to be filming that is because, number one, uh, when you're in a theater, uh, are your electronic devices supposed to be on while well, the show is starting or during a uh, commercial because they do tell you if you've got cell phones uh, like cell phones or electronic devices uh, I'll have to overview that but I know cell phones you have to turn those off when you're in the theater because if you're in the theater and cell phones are going off uh, that's actually interruption of the show so I would say if you have a phone call or whatever and your phone goes off um, step outside the um, theater and talk to or take that call outside of the video or put your phone on silent but make sure that the ringer is off so if you have a phone call um, and it is important step out I don't know specifically where you're supposed to go with that cell phone and um, take that phone call and talk to that person anonymously um i really don't know but i know it has to be outside the theater so it might be like outside of the hallway where you're at i'm not sure um i'll find out specifically when they do uh the commercials i'll be able to uh tell you exactly what they say but i do know they do talk about um to turn your cell phones off when the when the movie is starting and while it's going, I know pretty much that you gotta have a cell phone off um, when um, videos are going, unless you need to know what time it is. It's different. It's okay if you've got your cell phone 
with you, but you don't want to have it on the ringer because the movie is going on and it, it, it's probably a, a movie that you've been wanting to see and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, that type of thing. I always look forward to going to the movies. However, I don't go to the movies like I used to. Well, maybe every once in a while. We'll, we'll put it that way. So, for the name of this blog for today is going to be um, blogs about events, certain events that I go to. So, I'll make sure that it's going to be a blogging event. So that's what we're going to call this one. So specifically, uh, we're talking about certain events. So um, let's say it was um, a bowling event. It is a very possible. It is possible that I'll be able to blog and film that one there, but I'm not exactly sure if it's all allowed. And specifically, do you have permission to do that? Do you have permission to bring your, um, I would say, cell phone, for an example, and it has a camera and you're able to record uh, the event? Um, I would probably say, mm, we'll put a question mark on that. I don't want to guess and say, oh, yes, it's okay that you go to a certain, a certain event and it's actually one that you've been waiting to go to um i'm gonna put a question mark on that because i don't want to guess at it and say oh yeah it's okay that you go ahead and uh go to this event and film it what happens if that in particular person does not want to be in that film or the movie or whatever you're recording and you're making it into a blog, an exciting event that you want to go to and you want to film. Uh, the question is, does the person want to be filmed and is it appropriate to do blogging or do an actual video at that in particular event? So that is questions and answers that I'll have for you tomorrow. In general, I will have questions on that tomorrow. I'll let you know the areas that are appropriate, where you can do them, and where you should not do them. I'll let you know about that. Um, but I know in theaters that you, um, people that have cell phones, make sure that you turn them off during the video, that type of thing. I know that I've heard that um, when you go to the theater. I've heard that a dozen times. And they will uh, tell you that um, before the, the video starts, um, you know, and they'll tell you if you want popcorn or that, that kind of thing. Go to the concession stand and get like candy, pop and that kind of thing before the movie starts. Um, so that that's actually the, the exciting part is to get, you know, the candy and all that other stuff before the video begins. Um, that that type of thing. Um, so I know that that part is is okay. Um, the other question is bringing food and your own drinks to the theater. That is actually a good question. Should you bring your own food and drinks? And think to yourself, oh, it's okay that I go ahead and do it. And I'll just stick these individual uh, treats in my bag. Like, uh, let's say, Diet Coke or Pop. Um, specifically, that answer would be, is that person on a, uh, on a diet or whatever, um, do they require to have... Uh, specific things and can they have it with sugar or not that's the whole question and is it appropriate to bring that stuff to the theater I would probably say the answer is yes to that because if they cannot have the actual stuff that they have um, um, you could actually ask the person um, I have certain snacks for this individual 
because they may have a food allergy or they got to have something specific. I really don't know. That question you'd have to ask. So this blog is basically on events and questions specifically that you could ask that individual. So if it's an event that you're going to or whatever, ask that um, that specific place that you're going to. Ask them that question. Is it okay that I film this? Uh, um, you know, I've got this uh, event that's going to be happening. Is it okay if I, you know, record it? Um, these are um, really good questions in general to ask individual places that you go to. Um, I don't have the list in front of me right now um, just because I would have to look it up on my tablet. But I said I'll have those questions and answers um, like a list of different places. Um, if you specifically want to know um, yes or no, is it okay to film that type of thing and is it allowed? I can't give you that answer. Uh, you know, I don't really have the answers to yes or no, is it okay, that type of thing. I don't want to guess that um, questions, yes or no, is it okay. Um, call that. Call them. If it was at a bowling alley or something like that, Give them a call. Ask them if it's appropriate. And then the other question is, if you are going to a, an event and there is actually individuals that are going to this event, that type of thing, the, the other thing that you want to ask is permission. That also means taking pictures. You want to ask that individual, is it okay that I take your picture at this event? You know, um, like after the event that you're going to or before, before the event, is it okay? Those are questions that you want to ask those individuals. Um, but you do not want to go ahead and say, oh, you know, this, this thing is so exciting. You know, I'm all happy and stuff like that. And I'm going to bring my camera, go ahead and take pictures and all this other stuff, what happens if that person is uncomfortable with that? That's another thing. Like, I have a workshop that I go to specifically, and if they wanted to take a picture of me or, um, or film me or whatever, I have restrictions. They have to ask me, um... Uh, for permission for them to like take my picture or whatever it is or a certain event they would have to get permission from me first it's not going to be oh yes to this yes to that oh yes I want them to take my picture and all that kind of stuff but what happens if you you don't you're uncomfortable with that I know I'm uncomfortable with that i rather have that person ask me permission before I actually film or take pictures. But if it was an event, and let's say it was with a whole group, that's different. You know? Um, you know, those are questions that you would have to ask those individual, that person. But like I said, I don't have all the answers. I don't have the answers. Uh, specifically, I don't want to guess at them and say yes or no, because I'm only, I'm only a person, um, that's doing this blog. So, like I said, I don't want to say it's okay, um, to do this and that. Um, like, for an example, if it was a bowling event, and they want they want to do pictures or they want to go ahead and they want to uh, do a video um, you know around a bowling alley or whatever uh, event that you're going to um, ask, um, ask that person if they're comfortable being in the video or whatever that type of thing it is actually your decision um, whether or not if you want them to do this you kind of make that decision. You decide. 
if you are comfortable with them uh, doing this at a certain event or basically event in general. So the name of this blog, once again, is going to be Questions and Answers. That's the name of this blog, Questions and Answers blog on specific uh, events and all that good stuff. So just kind of think about it before you actually go out in the public eye and go ahead and do it. I wouldn't want to do these things without the with that individual's uh, permission. I would go up to them and ask them yes or no. And if they, if they don't want it, I'm not going to go ahead and take, take their picture or whatever. If it was actually the actual event, that's different. And if it was Special Olympics, um, I can find that a little bit different, but I would say kind of, mm, I don't know. I would say in general, if it was Special Olympics, that kind of thing, and it, that is a very important event, that would be possible to, to, to film that because it's, it's an event. It's a very important event that they do maybe all year round, uh, but we do know that they have a winner. Uh, uh, Special Olympics, Winter Special Olympics, Summer, that type of thing. We know that that's happening. And uh, Special Olympic Bowling. We know that that's all in the picture, but let's say Special Olympics, they don't have that funding in general. So if there was, there was a specific event such as bowling, and let's say they already have it scheduled at a certain bowling alley, and what happens if they find out at the last minute they don't have funding for that event. Well, what do they do? Do you, um, do you call to find out? Um, I, I specifically would be asking those questions. Yes, I would be calling that, I would be calling that place, such as Special Olympics, whoever is setting up that actual event and saying, um, is this event still going to happen? Do I, do I go ahead and go to this event? These are questions that I would want to know. So yes, I would be calling them, asking all these questions, or emailing them, tweeting them, and getting all these specific answers that I need to know before I actually go to the event. Because what happens if you find out at the last minute that the event is canceled? That's beyond our control but it is very important that you have contact with that person organization that that is running or setting up these events yes it is very important that you call and find out if it's still going on I know I would be um, picking up the phone calling them on the on my cell phone uh, probably emailing them or whatever that question may be. But let's say it was canceled at the last minute and you didn't know about it. And let's say it was a bowling event and they had it set up at a specific bowling alley. And let's say you go to the bowling alley or whatever event it was and it was going on. What happens if you find out at the last minute that it was canceled and everybody's already at the event and they're looking forward to uh, going to this event and they find out that it was canceled at the last minute and they forgot to contact you. And they, they really uh, dearly tell you, I'm really, really sorry I forgot to contact you. But like I said, uh, sometimes that organization uh, probably knows that uh, specific issue and sometimes they forget to let you know that it has been canceled because sometimes um, places like that may not 
uh, know that answer until maybe the last minute or maybe ahead of time, and they specifically are trying to find out um, yes or no, um, is there a way to keep that event and uh, keep that event so people can go to it? Those are questions that I would be asking in general. And I mean, for real, I'm not going to um, fake it out and say, um, oh, yes, I'll go to this event. I'll go to this bowling alley, uh, this specific uh, event, and uh, I'll go ahead and go to it. And uh, they forget to tell me it's been canceled. So we'll just say that I'm going to this event and somebody made arrangements uh, for transportation to get certain people or maybe a group or whatever to this uh, event, let's say it was the Detroit Tigers game, or Red Wings game, or or a basketball game in general, and let's say they're canceled at the last minute and arrangements have already been made and everyone was not aware of it and they actually wait at that Pacific area and let's say um, transportation has been arranged and um, the uh, event was happening but it was canceled because they did not have enough funding for it or they just can't schedule it you know you know events do change schedules do change and sometimes they have to move the event around specifically for another month or two some organizations have to do that because if they don't have the funding for it, they can't do it. The same thing goes with workshops across Southeast Michigan uh, in Macomb County, the metropolitan Detroit area. And uh, like they say, um, they set up the, um, the actual event that's going to happen, but if they don't have the funding for it, what happens is, it's, it's automatically canceled. And they will let you know in advance, maybe one day or ahead of time, this is not happening that day. It will happen on this day because we didn't get enough funds for it or donations. That type of thing. And those are questions that you also want to find out. But um, specifically, they will probably give you a flyer saying uh, it has been canceled or it has been rescheduled for this date. So let's say it was for Special Olympics bowling or Winter Olympics or some type of event. And, and let's say um, they have to reschedule it for another month, another day. And let's say it was scheduled. So let's say that event was scheduled for an example We'll just say, for an example, let's say the event was happening today or yesterday or the day before that. And then that event was scheduled on a certain day and a certain month and you were looking forward to going to that event. But then you find out that it has been canceled and it has been moved to a certain date or a certain month. That's beyond their control. We don't. We can't do anything about it. It's beyond our control. So, like I said, uh, if there's a certain event that you're looking forward to, um, the main thing that you want to do, specifically, even though you get a flyer, that type of thing, let's say they've already got it scheduled and something happens and they find out um, in advance, meaning a couple days, um, and let's say, um, okay, the event was scheduled for this day, but this is the other question. I did not get notified that it was canceled. And let's say you gave them your cell phone number or phone number and um, say, ask that person to text you if the event was canceled. But let's say it's a let's say there's a thousand people that are gonna go to this event. I would say it would be very difficult to contact all these people and let them know. 
But if they had email, I could find that happening and probably texting them. I would say that would be a possibility. But the question is, how do you text all these people all all at one time. I've never done that before. If I was to text somebody for an example, and let's say it's a couple people or eight people, nine people, or let's say there's a list of uh, different people that you can uh, let them know that an event is canceled, it is probably a possibility that you can text all these people, put all these contacts, put them in there, and then send the actual message to them. I've never done it before, but I've actually done it on Twitter before. I've done it on Facebook before. And all those people get that message. The same thing on Twitter. Um, let's say let, let's say it was um, a snowstorm or severe weather that all come into play. That, you know, all multiple things. Everyone is going to want to know all those questions in general. So I'm going to say for the other part of this blog is contacts. Who do you contact and find out about this actual event and get details about it? Get questions and answers. Um, and just say, why wasn't I you know, notified that it was canceled? And I came all the way out here for this event. So let's say, for an example, there was actually an event going on at Macomb Mall or Oakland Mall or Lakeside Mall, and it was a, it was canceled. And they had to reschedule it for another day, a certain month. Like I said before, things do happen. It just doesn't happen. Uh, you know, you, do, you... For another example... We don't get questions overnight, people, because we don't know. The same thing with the weather. The weather changes, and this is for real. Uh, the weather changes um, by the minute. So let's say they say it's going to be sunny. Let's say it's going to be cloudy or whatever. The weather changes every minute. So even though there's an extended forecast and they say, oh, it's going to be plain sunshine and partly cloudy, sunshine or it's going to rain all week, it could change. It can change. So, like I say, these are very important questions and answers that you want to ask in general. So, um, I'm going to think of a very important topic for this blog. And this is basically going to be called General Questions and Answers slash events so i'm going to write that down and that will be the name of the blog so yeah it's a very important uh blog as a matter of fact so uh thank you for joining me for this blog and i'll have another one for the weekend probably saturday or sunday um so i'm thinking probably tomorrow in the late afternoon evening but there's a possibility that might be moved to Sunday or it might be moved to Monday it all depends on what I've got going on what my schedule is I would have to look over my agenda my schedule and if I have uh, a time frame where I could schedule it I, I might have time to fit it in that's questionable I like I said I would have to look over on my agenda and see what time can I do this event? But I do got to go because I have a phone call. We'll be back.